Well, this little kitty isn't complete, but it's the 1977 Hornby catalogue. So this was kicking around at home. Uh, if I just zoom down here, look, I had one of these little cardboard tunnels. I had that text code one as well. So I haven't got the whole thing. This is starting on page seven with the R681 rail freight set. It's going from, from the numbers and when these different sets and, and locos are available, I've managed to pin this down to be in 1977. 685 high speed train set. So that's the old inner city 125. Then the R682 freight master set. The R686 Intercity set. Now is that is that the uh, Type 37 like what I saw the other week down here? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. I'm really not that that good on my trains. The R683 GWR freight set. So this is the previous one to the one I got. So it's a completely different engine. We've got different. Um, carriages as well with the exception of this Arnold Sands one that I have so oh and it had if we look here it had points and a, and a little uh, offshoot it's quite a complex set actually it's got quite a lot of stuff with it it's a lot more in it than, than my one so and then we've got the R684 Silver Jubilee freight set well I should have known that it was 1977 yeah, Silver Jubilee, Her Majesty, God save the Queen. Uh, that looks quite nice. So then uh, there's a few pages missing. And we get on to the Evening Star. Now that must have been a lovely double page spread there. You know, look, you've got, you've got all these letters on there indicating different bits. So for example, H is copper capping on the double chimney. F here, injection molded body is made from high impact materials, which is quite good because I used to run these things off of ramps and all sorts. O, all Hornby steam locomotives have nickel tired driving wheels, etc. etc. So, I mean, that's lovely. That would look great on your wall, wouldn't it? So, showing us the Hornby steam locomotives. Oh, 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 oh. that is the Duchess of Sutherland, which I eventually got. I had a Duchess of Abercorn. 85 86 something like that but this is the duchess of southern which i later got and my dad's written on here gy i'm guessing is great yama so 25 and something 10 percent don't know hannon's 1785 alderby is where we lived so 17 pound 85 they were they were charging so it's at least 10 times now so the R066 LMS CL8P 462 Coronation Class Duchess of Sutherland. A splendid all new Hornby model. 24 coronations were built between 1983 and 1947. Sorry, 1938 to 1947. To haul the heaviest expresses between London and Glasgow. The Hornby model has a tender mounted Ringfield silver seal motor for really impressive hauling power. It actually goes Wee! But there you go. Finer scale wheels and, and illuminated headlamps. I think mine have all blown. The bodywork is finally carried out with lining and lettering of the period. The cab interior is fully detailed and separate handrails are fitted. So it tells you that it was designed by Stania. Region was the LMS, London Mid Scotland, and it was an express passenger train. Whereas this, this one, the R065 Evening Star, which was when we saw on the previous one, that was a heavy duty freight and occasional express freight passenger work. So that's quite good. This one was a mixed traffic one, so on. Really, really nice. So then come across and there's a close up of the Duchess of Sutherland passing some some navvies who are, who are working in the field. He's been working hard, he's having white sweat off his face. He's fed up because somebody just made a comment about his knife. His wife, sorry. He's just pointing out that they're just they're slacking off. They're just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. He's cracking on because he just wants to get done and go home. And uh, you know they just they found a job. They told what job do you want to do? And uh, he just took his pick. <laughs> Sorry, that was really really pathetic. But anyway, so yeah, um, there we go. So that's them put in their place. Whereas you've also got just the models to look at and really nice, fine looking models they are too. 
a range of different colours. And going on to the Hornby diesel locomotives. Now this would have been the uh, cover shot if this was a 1977, which I believe it to be. And then here we go, and then now they're talking about the workhorses. So you've got a mix of real photography as well. So this is your, yeah, it was a, a Type 37. So that's a Type 37, which um, we've still got a few running around nowadays. Some more diesels. Oh, look, there's a tick. There's a tick in the box there. That's my dad's tick. Far too neat to be me or my brother. So it could be what he got my brother, although I don't remember a green one. Page on care and maintenance of your locomotive. You've got the coaches. These are the Hornby British Rail ones. It's got a few different types. Is there a, a buffet car? You, there's a buffet car. There's a buffet car. Probably just as overpriced and rubbish as the food and the real ones. So, Hornby famous company coaches. So, you've got the British Rail CK Corridor Composite. You've got the GWR Composite, the Southern Region, the LMS. You've got the London North Eastern Railways. There's a nice little photograph at the end of the carriage. GWR Composite, the S and DJR. I have no idea what that actually means. Two on two. It's a four wheeled coach. Southern and, and District Joint Railway, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I made that up. Southern Railway, LMS, LNER again. So there's a nice, nice little selection in here. And then uh, we get to there, and then we lose the centre pages. Oh dear. So here we're on the tracks. There's lots of little this track here. Track accessories. So you've got your underlay and your uncoupling ramp. I've got one of those kicking around. I did wonder what it was. Um, probably won't use it. A red clip. I've only got blacks. Then track packs. So you could buy the extension packs. The red bit is like those little bits. Could then give you your basic oval, which you'd have had, say, in, in the... In the GWR freight set I have, which had those there, you'd then add that and that gives you a siding. Number two track pack, give you the green bits. Now this looks like my brother's writing. He's slightly older than me. Uh, it's not, not focusing. So he needs seven of those, needs 11 of those, and needs two of those, which is the point to do that. This is my writing. See, you know, I'm, I'm just... I was an untidy fella. I need loads of stuff, but he used pencils so he didn't mess it up. And I used purple felt tips because I like that. I don't worry. I'm I'm thinking that could be could be me. You know, a mixture of of uh, capitals and lower case. My brother was all very good, very neat, and precise. For me, I look more like a, a Jamie Reed Sex Pistols advertising poster. So, yeah, but it's still nice to see my stuff on there. Then it tells you about the track plans book, which uh, we've already had a look at the 1979 fifth edition one. The track stencil set. How cool is that? I used to love stencils, had all sorts of stencils, different sizes, different letters. Power control systems. That actually looks quite good. I, I, I like the look of that. Looks really kind of groovy and funky. And look at, look at that. I mean, that was, that was total high tech <laughs> in those days. So hints and tips on layout construction. So a bit of plaster of Paris, probably going over crunched up newspaper, papier and mache. He's got his drill there. If everything laid out, it's gonna make him right on mess. There's his paint. Father and son, look, the kids cutting up the, the underlay. You do that, boy. You cut that bit, boy. You freckly boy. Finish station, moving on. Signal control set. You know, so then it shows you that bit, but putting it into context, same here. Yeah. And this, I've actually got one of these in an old Triang box. Mm. <laughs> Quite nice too. Oh, it's only half a page. What's going on? <gasps> Terrible. R405 signal light set. I've got some of those uh, hopefully coming shortly to add to my, my layout. Just the lights. I'm not bothered about the cables and switching that. I'm just going to cut it all off and stick the lights in place. Ha 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 ha, the turntable. One day I might buy one of those. There's no point. I've, I'm always intrigued to how they actually connect together and stay powered up. Oh, I don't know. There we go. So I had one of those. Like I say, I had that as a trying one. I've got that. I've got that piece as well, actually. I've got that Ipswich. Is that a design from Ipswich? 
Come on, get in focus, will you? There you go. Straight platformer canopy. I've got the die-cast metal canopy supports. Signal kits, gantry signals, all sorts. And then close off all that. And then that tells you with your, your home and distant junction signals. So that's telling you there's something coming and that's telling you it's there. Stop now. Village shop. All closed down now. Petrol station. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Good old SA. 1970s bungalow washing on the line mainline station look at that isn't that grand it just looks like a toy it looks like lego to be honest but uh, thorpe station in norwich is a beautiful building in that sort of style and era here we go so the br mail coach i had obviously the uh the gw1 at the time gwr1 at the time and later got the lms one look even a girl is getting excited by how much fun you can have with that and with the operating all wagon set. My God, brother, it's amazing. And all I've got is my damned Cindy dolls. I can't even have a, have a Barbie because we're English. <laughs> Wait till the Tories come in and then you can have one, my dear, that will have closer links with America and a better economy. <laughs> There's my, my old uh, coaling stage. I like that. That was a cool little model. That, that looked more realistic than most of them. And the car transporter. You know, um, shipping all the Leyland rust buckets everywhere. And that is where it ends on this version I've got. Sorry I haven't got any more, but uh, you know, I might buy another one.